And yet here, the one who looks like a son of man, who has glory, authority, and sovereign power in heaven, came as God comes, is being served in heaven with the service due only to God by all people of every nation and language. And then it says his kingdom is one that will not pass away and his dominion will never be destroyed. And as if Jesus needed to make his point any clearer, he then says you will see him sitting at the right hand of the power. That son of man will be sitting at the right hand of the power. Well, what is this? This is a reference to Psalm 110, verse 1. In Psalm 110, verse 1, it says, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, and I will make the enemies a footstool for your feet. No one in all of Second Temple Jewish history ever claimed the right to sit next to God on his throne. Because if you were to say that, then essentially what you're saying is that God has an heir. It's like the king sitting on his throne with his son, the prince, next to him. That's what it means to sit next to God in that context. That's why Moses was never shown sitting next to God. That's why Enoch was never shown sitting next to God. Or any of the archangels. They were all shown standing next to God. Sitting next to God would be blasphemy. That would mean that they are God. Yet Jesus claims not only to be the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven, whose worship with service due only to God, but also has the right to sit next to God on the throne. He's the heir to the throne of God. 